10 Kyoto Spots of Feast of Tradition and Beauty. Hello, everyone, today I'm going to show you 10 of the best tourist spots in Kyoto, a dreamy place. I'll explain it in a way that even a grade schooler can understand. Don't forget to like and comment. 1. The Magic of King Kekuji Temple. This is not just a temple. It's a place that makes your heart happy. Hey guys, have you heard of King Kekuji or Rokuonji? This is a really amazing place. Imagine there's a temple that's shiny with real gold. The pond reflects that gold and it sparkles. Especially great if you go during the fall foliage. The gold and red together are so beautiful, it's like a jewel box. The blue sky also sparkles with gold. It's like a fairy tale already. And the garden is amazing too. There are pebbles and pretty bridges. And you can feel the beauty of Japan. You can take a break in the tea room or relax in the garden. It's a place to refresh your mind. It's definitely worth a visit. Let's buzz. This information with likes and shares and let everyone know how amazing King Kikuji Temple is. I'm sure when you visit here, you'll say, I spent more than my money, I'm sure you'll agree. 2. Wonderland of Kayamizu Templeian. Amazing beauty and adventure from the top of the mountain. Have you ever heard of Kayamizu Temple? Everyone, this is a very famous temple in Kyoto. It's located on top of a mountain. So it's a bit of a climb, but all that hard work is soon rewarded. The view, especially from the place called Kayamizu no Bite stage of Kayamizu is like something out of a fairy tale. You can see both the garden and the city of Kyoto. And it's so beautiful that it makes your eyes sparkle. At night, this place is lit up and it's another world. There's also a love, fortune-telling stone where you can go with someone you like and test what their future will be like. Besides, there are many souvenir stores and good food stores around here. You will definitely have fun and play all day long. 3. The Magical World of Fushimi Inari Teisha An adventurous journey that begins at the Red Tori Tunnel. Do you guys know Fushimi Inari Teisha Shrine? This is the place famous for its Red Tori Gate. A special shrine that looks like something out of a fairy tale. This is a place to pray for prosperity and safety in business, and from the moment you step inside, you feel like something special is about to happen. The tunnel created by the Red Tori Gate is like a gateway to another world. There is a forest behind it, and you can enjoy a short hike. And you know, the approach to the temple is full of delicious food stalls and stores. You can enjoy fox-shaped dumplings, yakitori and other local delicacies. Even more special are the many fox-fox statues at the shrine. It's a little mysterious and tickles my adventurous spirit. How about this fascinating information? Like and share with your friends. And let's all experience the wonder and adventure of Fushimi Inari Teisha. For the mysterious world of Arashayama, a spectacular bridge decorated with cherry blossoms and autumn leaves, and the magical bamboo forest. Have you ever heard of Arashayama? This place is so beautiful it's like something out of a picture book. Especially, the big bridge called Tadatsukyu. Duyuichao is the most beautiful during cherry blossom season and autumn leaves season. I feel the beautiful scenery heals my heart. But that's not all, the bamboo forest path is also really amazing. When the wind blows, the bamboo makes a rustling sound, like you've wandered into a magical land. And hey, there are lots of delicious food and cute souvenirs. Near this bamboo forest, if you get hungry, eat some local specialties to recharge your energy. How about it? Did we convey the charm of this place? Arashayama will delight everyone with its natural beauty and a bit of adventure. Come and experience this wondrous world with your friends and family. Spread the word about this wonderful information by liking and sharing. Fipinuyuji Temple and Onsen History and Relaxation together. Do you know Tenryuji Temple Tenongsu? This place is full of history and also has a very beautiful garden. And if you get tired, there is a hot spring nearby that will refresh your body and mind. Neijo Castle, a treasure chest full of history and beauty. Next up is Neijo Castle Artauchen. This place is like walking through a history book. The murals are superb and the gardens are absolutely beautiful. In the spring, the cherry blossoms bloom and the garden turns pink. Healing Garden. There is a tranquil pond in the garden with ducks and fish. It's also full of stones and trees. Just walking around is calming. Eh? If you go, don't forget your camera. There's no place more Instagrammable than this. So take lots of pictures and share them on social media. How about these attractive spots? They're all worth a visit, right? Once you go, you will definitely feel Japan is really wonderful. Once you go there, you will definitely feel that Japan is really wonderful. Six Yaseka Shrine Yaseka Jinja The Magic of Summer The Star of the Jan Festival Yaseka Shrine in Kyoto is also known as Jansen. This shrine is extremely famous for the Jan Festival. 
the biggest festival in Japan. In the summer, the shrine is like a stage for a party. A place where wishes come true too. There is a mystical atmosphere and it seems to have some special power. You can make a wish with an amulet. Or a bill, anything from, I want to get good marks in school to I want my family to be healthy. The star of the festival not to be missed. During the festival there are so many colorful and beautiful floats and Hanagasa Hana hats are also really spectacular. The music and dancing will energize your body and soul. Don't forget the photo contest. This is a great place to take pictures, and if you upload them to social networking sites, you're sure to get lots of likes. Seven Kyoto Imperial Palace history is alive. Royal adventures await you. Everyone, have you ever heard of the Kyoto Imperial Palace? This is the actual house where the Emperor of Japan used to live, not only that, but it's a place that looks like a history textbook flipping through its pages. The foliage is also amazing. Especially in the fall, the yard is filled with fall foliage. The red, orange, and yellow leaves sparkle and shine, and it's just picture perfect. You can even go inside for special occasions. On certain days, you can even go inside and explore at your leisure. It's like being a prince or princess, walk around the royal palace, and feel like a royal. Photography is perfect. Upload this beautiful scenery on social networking sites, and you'll get a lot of likes, will surely come in droves. Athe Shrine, a heavenly place of peace and beauty. Have you ever heard of He Shrine? This is already a beautiful place where peace and beauty seem to dance hand in hand. The magic of cherry blossoms and autumn foliage. Especially in the spring when the cherry blossoms are in full bloom and in the fall, when the leaves are shimmering. This is really not to be missed. Grab your camera and don't miss this magical moment. The new year is a busy time for Hatsumode. The new year is filled with Hatsumode first visit to the shrine. Let's all welcome the start of a new year with a sacred feeling. Time to refresh your mind and body. When you visit Heijin Shrine, your mind and body will be refreshed. You will feel refreshed as if you went to a spa. Let's go with friends. Such a great place, it's even more fun to go with friends. Nine Fujimori Shrine art and mystery mixed like magic. Have you heard of Fujimori Shrine, Fujimori Shrine? This is, you know, a heavenly place for art lovers. Purple dreams, wisteria flowers. In spring, this shrine is filled with purple wisteria flowers. It's so romantic, it's like a dream. Eh? Contemporary art meets tradition. The most special thing about this place is that it brings together modern art and old shrines. Where else can you enjoy shiny new art and a mystical old shrine together? Let's share this. Such a beautiful place. Let's take a picture and share it on social media. You will definitely get a lot of likes and comments. Worth a visit. Everyone who has been to this shrine has had the best time, they say. So next weekend, go to Fujimori Shrine and enjoy the world of art and mystery. Kyoto National Museum History and Beauty Super Party. Hey everyone, have you ever heard of Kyoto National Museum? This is the place where you travel to the past, as if you were in a time machine. There are many masterpieces that you should see at least once. Japanese art and history all in one place. You'll feel a bit like a professional explorer Tanke Kinshi. Learn while you have fun. They have special exhibitions and workshops, so it's not just about learning, it's really fun. Installation alert. Such a cool place, you have to take a picture. Let's get the ball rolling with likes and comments. Last little announcement. These are 10 super cool spots in Kyoto that the whole family can enjoy. History, art, mystery, it's all here. So one day is not enough. Now why don't you spend a magical day in Kyoto next weekend? Don't forget to like and share. And have a fun adventure in Kyoto too guys.